Hey guys, happy Sunday. I uh, hope you're having a good day. We are outside picking violets and I was gonna show you them. I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do with them. So we've not actually lived with a yard that had violets in the backyard before. So I'm super excited that we can just come out here and get them. We actually have tons of them. And I'm gonna use them to make a sea salt and violet. That was a sea salt and violet bath soak. And I'm also gonna make a violet sugar scrub. Um, they can be used for all kinds of things, and I'll list those off for you once I get back inside. Okay, so we've washed and just gently dried with a paper towel the violets, and we are getting ready to make a bath soak with them. I'm going to put the camera down, and my littlest one is going to tell you what to do, or what the ingredients are. Today in our recipe, we are going to be using a Malayan pink sea salt, coarse sea salt, and violets. Put all the ingredients in a food processor. and it doesn't matter what order. And we tried to get all the stems off the violets, but as you can see, we didn't. So since this is gonna be a bath soak, it's really up to you how much, how fine you want it. As you can see, the Himalayan pink salt is still in pretty big chunks. We also have some green bits because of the stems, but we're not bothered, we kinda of like that. So we pulsed it a few more times because we wanted those flowers to be super fine. We don't want any problems with the drain. Um, and it looks even more purple now, so we kind of like that. You could also do this in a coffee grinder um, with a smaller amount, of course. And the reason we didn't do that today was because we rinsed the violets and they were still slightly damp. I'm gonna show you how to dry it out now. All right, so we're just gonna scoop this out onto a parchment lined tray and we'll let it dry at least overnight. The salt really helps the flowers dry out, which is super awesome. And I'll tell you what so we're, we're gonna do. So we're just gonna spread this out over the pan so it can dry. And we'll just put this in a jar once it's dry and use it for bath soap, but we can also make little scrubbies with it by adding coconut oil. And I will show you how to do that tomorrow. 